Hola amigos, what's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. Adios. From the glorious YouTube Tokyo, a place where uh, people will still believe that Lloyd Hoffman is a bigger villain than Llewellyn well DeVille. It's week now up there with Ellie Moore. And now, a man who believes that Lori Laughlin should have been in jail for a lot longer than just two lousy months. I mean, seriously, she cheated with her family. That's not right. Mr. Ellie Gungy Mueller. Ha! Welcome to the week now update. I'm Ellie Gungy Mueller. What's up, guys? Talk about everybody. Hey, boss, how are you? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. I just can't believe we're talking about Lori Laughlin tonight. I know, I know. All right, she is a big cheater, and let's be honest, Lori Laughlin, formerly from Full House and things like that, could not be allowed to succeed in life. Yeah, I mean, seriously. She cheated with her family. She cheated just to help her family out. I mean, seriously. You know, there are ways of helping your family out, and cheating should not be one of them. Exactly. Exactly. You are absolutely right about that. Cheating is absolutely horrible. Now, we're still uh, looking for uh, this week's uh, comment of the week. You know, uh, this week's question, by the way, is, uh, is a two-pointer right? How are you going to beat the villain if he approaches you? And are you currently training for the biggest battle ever? All right. I want you. I want you to go over to the community tab post, and I want you to respond to that. Uh, you know, uh, question. I want you to answer uh, the two-part question. Okay. All right. And you know, by Friday you'll know who will be the uh, winner. You know, for count of the week. All right, and trust me, it is going to be worth the wait, okay? All right, now, theme song is composed by Dominic Mattis Piano. I'm Dominic Mattis Piano. He is really good. The Color Me Crew and the Camel Lady are awesome as well. They do many different things for this program. Yes, many different things for this program. Evil Hammer 2004 has done some things for this program as well. Let's hopefully kill... Uh, do something, uh, you know, a great on this program uh, again in the not too distant future. And now, on to our other Charles Wallet winners. You know, for example, Monster Jam Fanatic, Cowboy Fanatic, and Sukar Fanatic. You know, they take care of all things uh, in regards to uh, automobiles and things like that. Fanboy Films and Fanboy Films 2 will always have interesting things uh, for you uh, when it comes to late night TV. Charles Lamont Sims, the Ultimate Mario Gamer, has a bunch of uh, Mario uh, games and things like that. Zach, Landing the Hedgehog, and Bloom Bloom or Vlom Vlom will always have you know, role playing uh, videos, mashups, and blah blah blah. Alright, well, I think it's time for What's Up? That's right, What's Up? What's Up? What's Up? Here we go. So, what's up with Lori Laughlin, a woman who gets ahead by cheating? Yeah, her kids are going to be prisoners. I repeat, her kids are going to be prisoners. Four years after the huge college admission scandal, she had a prison sentence that was too short. That's right, a prison sentence that was too short. She did it at an award ceremony recently, and she was happy. Of course, she wants to cheat again. And hang on, she has a new TV movie in the works. Yeah, it is a Christmas movie, and it will be on a network called Great American Film. What? 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 After what she did, she has no remorse. Just, why? Why? She 
never admitted to what he did, okay? No, he only did that months after the fact, okay? And I'm sorry, but I really don't think that we should be supporting a woman, you know, from Full House who loves to cheat, all right? And by the way, by the way, you know what, Bob Saget will always be missed. You know what, he was, is, and always will be amazing. Dave Coulier, John Samuels, they're great too. All right, they're both great. All right. All right, and one final note. Excuse me. I hope that Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen are going to be all right. All right. Now, let's do a top eight list with uh, MP and Mr. Bones. Here we go. Top eight list. Here we go. Thanks, boss. Tonight's category: Top eight things that Lori Loughlin wants to do right now. I mean, top eight things that Lori Loughlin wants to do now. Number eight: Rob a jewelry store. Number seven: Steal computers. Number six: Become a cook. Number five: Destroy a dozen homes. Number four: Steal napkins from a restaurant. Number three: Steal some homes. Number two: Break into someone's home. And number one: Cheat on her husband. Ow. <laughs> Once a cheater, always a cheater, huh? I guess so. Thanks, boys. Thanks very much. Well, you know the drill. Hashtag week not there. Hashtag Fred LeBron. Hashtag LVO for late night. And hashtag LVO for adult worm. Get those things to trend on social media, will you please? Thank you. And while you're at it, like this thing, subscribe, ring the bell, share with your shout in the comment section down below. We have a lot to get to uh, tonight. After the break, we'll talk to uh, Edward Scott. We're going to have a new episode of the World Ramblers. We'll have a classic performance from the Multiverse Disability Choir. And, of course, we'll have the all-important talking time. All this plus more fun than humans are allowed to have right after this. This is still week up, and here it is, your final night. Spring is here. <laughs> Carpets here. You're kidding. After all this time, forget it. I called Empire. No way! Your carpet was supposed to be here four weeks ago, and that was already two weeks late. With Empire, I shopped at home, and my carpet was installed the very next day. No way! And I saved 50% with no payments until January 2003. Well, you're still going to keep this carpet, aren't you? No way. 800 Robert Scott and the boys. Hey, boss, how are you? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Good. All right. Now, <laughs> I think that we need a great episode of the World Round. Don't you think? Well, we got a great one for you right now, and it's a new one. Here we go. In life, a little rain must fall. After the rain comes the sun, and when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And when you're having lemonade, 
Enjoy the world around us. That's coming up right now. <laughs> it is I, Mad Scientist Lala, will make the best spooky, scary party ever! But it's almost complete. Tom just needs to get the Mummy King, the special kind of werewolf, and the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will tickle my funny bone for sure! <laughs> oh, you are so scary! And you're even scarier! No, my good friend, all of you guys are very scary. Ah! Oh, brother. Okay, look. Do I look scary to you? No. And does the mummy king look very scary to you? No. He really doesn't. Yeah. It is quite perfect. Are you trying to suck my blood? No. No. I would never do that to a friend. Ah. Oh. Good, because I got a little worried there for a split second. Oh, brother. And does this special werewolf look scary to you? No, she actually doesn't. Yeah, this special werewolf is not scary. Yeah, I actually do agree. And does the vampire... <laughs> Look scary to you? No, and what's so funny? Ugh, I wasn't laughing. Yes, you were. Oh, I could totally handle the chuckleness of me. Oh, brother. Could you answer my question? No, he doesn't. No. See? All of you three are not scary. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now, come on. Let's absolutely get way to Mad Scientist Lala. She's totally waiting. Okay. Oh, Mad Scientist Lala. I am here with the guest. Psst. Huh? Ooh, okay. Mad Scientist Lala! Mad Scientist Lala! Huh? Well, where did they go? Mommy King? Werewolf? Vampire? Huh, oh, brother. Looks like I'm gonna have to tell Mad Scientist Lala the horrible and sad news. Surprise! Whoa! Uh, a surprise party for me? But it's not even my birthday! We just wanted to make it very special just for you. Oh, you guys. Let's do the Mummy Mumbo. Let's do the Werewolf Tango. Let's do the Vampire Flap. Let's do the Mad Scientist Swing! And let's do... The Special Boy Congo! With a party! Yay! This has been... Another installment of the World Wellness. Are we having fun? Yes, we are. World Wildness is a production of Casting Shoes in association with Nick and Knight. The late night TV breaks. We fix it. That was incredible. And... 
I am still reeling over the fact that Lori Loughlin is still roaming around Hollywood after what she did. You know, perhaps as a child, she was not given the, uh, the proper uh, kind of love. Like, this is uh, a perfect example. Given to us by all the members of the Multiverse Disability Choir. <laughs> oh, my little Laura. Are you crying? Are you crying or out for Lucario? I think you did. I think you really did. Oh, don't cry, Bastie. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. Here, Bastie. I'll cradle you no matter what. Come here. Come to Lucario. The bear, the bear. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. You'll be okay. I promise. Oh no, Bastie. The bear, the bear. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. My Multiverse Disability Choir. Will you help me sing a very special lullaby for Princess RKG? Sure, Lucario. Anything for RKG. That's good to hear, Diamond. Let's sing along. Aw, oh, the bear, the bear. Please don't cry, RKG. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay. Lucario's here, Lucario's here. Here. We'll sing you a very special lullaby just for you. The bear, the bear. It's okay, partner. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. The bear. Lucario's here. I'll protect you. You're so adorable when you sleep. Rest easy, bestie. Just remember that Lucario loves you and so does your mother, and daddy. Dreams Basti. Lucario loves you very much. And as well. Of course, right now, we have to get back into business, all right? And speaking of uh, business, no, wait. actually, that's what we're about to get into right now. Let's uh, have a little talking time and get back to work, huh? Hey, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's talkie time to know what he's going to talk about. So let's talk about it. Yoo-hoo, baby! <laughs> Once again, Lori Laughlin has, has gotten on everybody's nerves. You know, remember uh, several years ago when she had that uh, huge psychology uh, admissions uh, scandal with her uh, family and things like that? Well, she went to prison, and, and after she got out of prison, she tried to get back to work. And of course, now, she has managed to get a red carpet under her belt again. Yeah, the, uh, 
event in question was the 30th annual Movie Guide Awards in Los Angeles, California. That's right, Los Angeles, California. And what do you know? She actually wore a uh, pink, remember, she wore a pink outfit. No, uh, no, and we're not going to get into uh, that. All right, but she uh, got together with her former uh, Full House uh, co-star and fellow uh, troublemaker, Candace Karen Bure, and of course, Bill Abbott, who nobody really cares about, you know, for the sake of this uh, program. All right? Now, actually, this was not her first uh, red carpet uh, appearance. That uh, prestigious honor, uh, as uh, she liked to call it, you know, uh, went to uh, the Design Care Gala last June. But this was her first award show appearance. So, this made me think, hmm, is Lori really taking her life seriously? No, no she's not. And I don't think that she will ever, ever get back on the right track. I don't think that she will. And while we're on the subject, Lori Laughlin has decided to make holiday movies for a great American family. Yeah, that is insane. First off, great American family is not the real network. That's number one. Number two, I cannot believe that anyone would hire her. Now, especially after Hallmark fires her. It just makes no sense. Uh. No, it just makes no sense. And I don't know if anybody, I mean, I'm, I'm serious, right? I don't know if anybody will be willing to interview her, you know, because of the whole, uh, you know, this had to happen uh, four years ago, or was it five years ago? I'm not really sure at this point. Now, it's been so long since anybody has heard anything from Lori Lop. And for good reason, too, might I add. This has been one insane episode of Week Not Update. And all I gotta say is this. Thank goodness it's over! Oh, I'll see you back here tomorrow night. Thank you so much for our... Uh, Standing uh, me and my uh, weird sense of humor for a little while. That's the news. Now I'm out skis. For all by for all. Yeah.